Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you the best tips and tricks for living a healthy and happy life. In today's video, I'm going to reveal to you the 7 worst foods that you should never eat if you have renal disease. In a world where nutrition plays a pivotal role in our overall well-being, understanding which foods to embrace and which to avoid becomes paramount, especially when it comes to safeguarding the health of our kidneys. It's time to shine a spotlight on these dietary culprits, unraveling the mysteries behind their harmful effects and empowering you with the knowledge to make informed choices for kidney health. Renal disease, also known as chronic kidney disease, is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when your kidneys are damaged and can't filter your blood properly. This can lead to a buildup of waste and fluid in your body, which can cause serious problems like high blood pressure, anemia, bone disease, and heart disease. If you have renal disease, you need to follow a special diet that helps protect your kidneys and prevent further damage. This means avoiding certain foods that are high in sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and protein, which can worsen your condition and put extra strain on your kidneys. But what are these foods that you should avoid at all costs? Well, some of them might surprise you, because they are considered healthy for most people. But for people with renal disease, they can be very harmful and even dangerous. But fear not, for this journey is not solely about identifying dietary villains, it's also about empowerment and enlightenment. In addition to revealing the dangers lurking in our diets, we'll provide you with invaluable insights into alternative foods that can nourish and support the health of your kidneys. Let's dive in and uncover the secrets together. Number 1. Dark Colored Soda You might think that soda is just a harmless drink that quenches your thirst, but it actually contains phosphorus additives that can harm your kidneys and bones. Phosphorus is a mineral that is found naturally in many foods, such as dairy products, meat, fish, eggs, nuts, and beans. It is important for building strong bones and teeth, as well as maintaining normal nerve and muscle function. However, too much phosphorus can be bad for people with renal disease, because their kidneys can't remove it from the blood. When phosphorus levels are too high, it can lower the amount of calcium in the blood, which can cause bone loss and fractures. It can also cause calcification, which is when calcium deposits form in the blood vessels and organs, such as the heart, lungs, and skin. This can lead to serious complications, such as heart disease, stroke, and infection. Dark-colored soda, such as cola, root beer, and grape soda, are among the worst sources of phosphorus, because they contain artificial phosphorus additives that are more easily absorbed by the body than natural phosphorus. For people with renal disease, this amount can be even higher, depending on their stage of kidney function and dietary restrictions. So, if you have renal disease, you should avoid dark-colored soda and opt for water, lemonade, or cranberry juice instead. These drinks are low in phosphorus and can help keep you hydrated and prevent kidney stones. If you really crave soda, you can choose light-colored soda, such as ginger ale, Sprite, or 7-Up, which have less or no phosphorus additives. However, you should still limit your intake, because soda is high in sugar and calories, which can cause weight gain and diabetes. Number 2. Avocado Avocado is a superfood that is good for your heart, skin, and hair, but it is actually very bad for your kidneys. While avocados are often celebrated for their creamy texture and numerous health benefits, it's crucial to recognize that, for some individuals with specific health conditions, they might not be the best choice. Avocado is one of the highest sources of potassium, which is a mineral that helps regulate fluid balance, nerve signals, and muscle contractions. However, too much potassium can be dangerous for people with renal disease, because their kidneys can't remove it from the blood. High levels of potassium can put strain on the kidneys, potentially worsening conditions such as chronic kidney disease. Therefore, while avocados are undeniably delicious and nutritious for many, individuals with kidney concerns should be mindful of their intake to support their overall health and well-being. When potassium levels are too high, it can cause irregular heartbeat, muscle weakness, paralysis, and even cardiac arrest. 
This can be life-threatening and require emergency treatment. Fortunately, there are plenty of alternative options that are equally delicious and beneficial for those looking to support their kidney health. One such alternative is cucumbers. Cucumbers are low in potassium and provide hydration, making them an excellent choice for those with kidney concerns. Additionally, cucumbers are rich in vitamins and antioxidants, further promoting overall health. Number 3. Whole Grains you might think that whole grains are better for you than refined grains, because they have more fiber, vitamins, and minerals. But for people with renal disease, whole grains can be harmful because they have more phosphorus. Whole grains, such as brown rice, oatmeal, and bran cereals, are among the highest sources of phosphorus, because they contain the whole grain kernel, which has more phosphorus than the refined part. So, if you have renal disease, you should avoid whole grains and choose refined grains instead, such as white rice, white bread, and corn flakes. These grains have less phosphorus and are easier for your kidneys to handle. However, you should still limit your intake, because refined grains are high in carbohydrates and calories, which can cause weight gain and diabetes. Remember, moderation is key. Number 4. Nuts and Seeds Nuts and seeds are healthy snacks that provide protein, healthy fats, and fiber, but they are actually very high in potassium and phosphorus, which can harm your kidneys and bones. Nuts and seeds, such as almonds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds, are among the highest sources of potassium and phosphorus, because they contain the whole seed kernel, which has more of these minerals than the refined part. So, you should avoid nuts and seeds and choose low potassium and low phosphorus snacks instead, such as popcorn, crackers, or rice cakes. These snacks are also low in sodium and calories, which can help control your blood pressure and weight. Number 5. Tomatoes While tomatoes are a staple ingredient in many cuisines and are praised for their vibrant color and rich flavor, they may not be the best choice for individuals with certain kidney conditions. Tomatoes are naturally high in potassium. Therefore, individuals with kidney concerns should be mindful of their tomato consumption to support their overall health and well being. However, there are plenty of alternative options available that can provide similar flavor profiles and nutritional benefits without the high potassium content of tomatoes. One excellent substitute is bell peppers. Bell peppers come in a variety of colors and are low in potassium making them a kidney-friendly alternative to tomatoes. They are also rich in vitamins A and C, antioxidants that promote overall health and immune function. Number 6. Dairy Products You might think that dairy products are good for you because they provide calcium, protein, and vitamin D, but they are actually very high in potassium, phosphorus, and protein, which can harm your kidneys and bones. Dairy products, such as milk, Cheese, yogurt, and ice cream are among the highest sources of potassium, phosphorus, and protein because they contain the whole milk product, which has more of these minerals than the skimmed or low-fat versions. So, if you have renal disease, you should avoid dairy products and choose non-dairy alternatives instead, such as almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, or coconut milk. These alternatives are lower in potassium, phosphorus, and protein, and can still provide calcium, vitamin D, and other nutrients. However, you should still check the labels and choose the ones that are unsweetened and fortified. As our riveting exploration of the top six worst foods for kidneys draws to a close, let us not bid adieu without imparting a crucial piece of advice a beacon of hope amidst the sea of dietary pitfalls. Remember, dear viewers, that knowledge is power, and armed with the insights gleaned from today's discussion, you possess the key to safeguarding the health and vitality of your kidneys. But knowledge alone is not enough, action is paramount. So, as you bid farewell to this enlightening journey, take with you a solemn vow, a pledge to honor your body with nourishing foods that support, rather than sabotage, the well-being of your kidneys. Embrace a diet rich in whole foods, brimming with vibrant fruits, crisp vegetables, lean proteins, and wholesome grains. Furthermore, heed the wisdom of moderation, for even the healthiest of foods can become harmful when consumed in excess.
Strive for balance in your diet, savoring indulgences in moderation while prioritizing the nourishment of your body with nutrient-dense fare. And lastly, never underestimate the power of hydration. Water, the elixir of life, plays a pivotal role in kidney health, aiding in the flushing out of toxins and promoting optimal function. So, raise a glass to your kidneys, and toast to their resilience with each sip of pure, refreshing water. As you venture forth on your journey towards renal wellness, may you tread with confidence, armed with the knowledge, wisdom, and determination to nurture the health of your kidneys with every mindful choice you make. Remember, dear viewers, that your health is your greatest treasure, and by embracing a lifestyle of nourishment, mindfulness, and balance, you pave the way for a future filled with vitality and well-being. Until we meet again, stay informed, stay empowered, and above all, stay committed to the well-being of your kidneys. Farewell, and may your journey towards renal wellness be filled with abundance, vitality, and joy.